Hey guys, welcome to my daily portfolio update. Um, this is your host Fernando, and today we're going to be going over <laughs> the portfolio of our Fidelity account. Uh, for those of you who don't know or who are first time joiners, uh, we invested a thousand dollars on August fifth, two twenty twenty, and we will be investing a thousand dollars more every month. But pretty much, we're gonna do daily updates on how our activities are doing, any buys or sales and how our actual uh, portfolio is performing. Uh, today, as you guys will see, uh, the market was up and down, but um, overall our portfolio was down $3, uh, which is a 0.3%, um, uh, not, not that bad, uh, not that good. I mean, it didn't go up, but it didn't go down as much. Um, I will be going with you guys shortly, our top gainers and our top losers for the day. Uh, but I think it's important to start our videos too with uh, just the overview of the main indexes and because most most of these stocks that we have in our portfolio are within these uh, three popular indexes uh, which is obviously the nasdaq the dow and the s p um, nasdaq today was 42 points down dow jones was 357 points up and the s p was 9.19 points up pretty much just staying neutral for today but um you know, just something to keep in mind. Um, when the, today actually Dow Jones had a really good day. A lot of uh, air airplane companies, hospitality companies, they did really good today. Uh, banking did really well today. Um, so good thing is that we did have some of those stocks in our portfolio, and we will be able to see um, which ones were our uh, best gainers uh, for today. So our best gainer for today is DuPont. Uh, these are a manufa like a manufacturer for auto parts. Uh, it's, it's more in, in the auto industry. Uh, we had good performance from Honeywell, Starbucks, TJX, Apple, um, Bristol, JP Morgan, CVS, Colgate, Goldman Sachs, and Broadcom. These were all the, the stocks that, that actually performed in a positive uh, way. Um, you know, with our biggest gainer being, like I mentioned, DuPont. So uh, with that being said now, we can go into our uh, biggest losers today. <clears throat> Obviously, most of these companies are going to be technology in this technology sector. Uh, you guys will see Amazon, you know, Seattle Genetics, Microsoft. Uh, but our biggest loser was actually AMD and Tesla and Facebook. So, you know, uh, these are still companies that are strong. I have faith in the long term, so nothing really much to worry about. Uh, in terms of our bullpen, uh, stocks that we should keep in mind is SPG. They did announce an interesting deal going on between Amazon that could possibly affect the stock of both Amazon and SPG. Uh, Simon, um, Simon Property really owns most of the JCPenney's and Moss real estate, and they're thinking and selling some of these to Amazon uh, to become fulfillment centers. So just stay focused, stay tuned on those type of news. Microsoft, which is in our portfolio right now, we're still um, holding, uh, especially with the news about TikTok and whether they're going to buy it or not. Uh, this is a stock that it's worth keeping, um, you know, for now. Another stock is Nikola. I'm not going to go too much in depth with this one, but it did go up today significantly plug it's not in our portfolio but it, it has been going up and we're probably going to keep an eye if it does uh, get a pullback uh, we might um, actually acquire some of these stocks um, sgen is in our portfolio and it's actually been performing quite poorly however we're not too concerned because we're mostly mostly focused on the long term uh, for this stock they did perform they did uh, provide poor results for the quarter for the last quarter However, they've been uh, innovating a new drug that um, we believe will have great yield results more towards in the future. So it's a good time to buy and we're definitely going to consider S-Gen, uh, you know, possibly upgrading our position once uh, September 5th comes through. Um, like I said, it's actually in a good price right now. And, and if you're looking for a stock to keep within six months to a year, S-Gen is probably the one, um, a good stock you can hold. Uh, well, guys, pretty much in a short version, this is really the update for portfolio. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe, comment, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.